Yeah, it really feels like a buyer's market right now. So we see on Thursday night the big move. The Boston Bruins get Orlov and Hathaway. Uh, what are your thoughts on that move by the Bees? And also on top of that, because obviously we're in the Atlantic Division and Toronto is going to take on Tampa. Are you hearing anything? Because I know the Lightning don't give out much into what they're thinking, but are you 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 don't want any you know tangible targets for that team? Yeah, I put out a list of them the other day, and I think they're sort of lower cost, lower price acquisitions that could be curated for Tampa. Um, that you know think along the lines of some of the guys that the Chicago Blackhawks are dangling, and if you consider um, Brandon Hagel and the addition that they made with him last year, really seem to make sense. A guy that can contribute now that has term on a cheap cap hit moving forward. So a couple of the guys that we threw out were Jake McCabe on the back end with the Blackhawks being willing to eat uh, $2 million, Sam Lafferty up front. But then if you find Lafferty to be too expensive, you maybe pivot to a guy like Noah Gregor, who has a lot of the same skill set in San Jose and would certainly cost a lot less for Tampa. With Boston, uh, I like the move. Um, and I, this has also gotten me some criticism from Lee fans in my mention saying, well, how come you like this trade as opposed to the other one? And I'll give you a string of reasons as to why. For one, when you consider the price, the fact that Boston was also able to move off of Craig Smith is a really important part of the equation and business. The Toronto Maple Leafs paid first, second, third, and fourth and did not remove anyone from their salary cap equation. So that's one. Two, I think Dmitry Orlov, difficult to compare positions, but the season that Dmitry Orlov has had this year is on a significantly better level than the one that Ryan O'Reilly was having with the St. Louis Blues. An instant top four defenseman that you plug into your lineup and probably also a pure rental. And the other part of this business that I thought was really shrewd was the Hathaway acquisition. So when you look at Hathaway, I think he's an extremely underrated player. If you've been following my work and what I've been writing, I've been saying for the last week since we started talking about the Caps potentially being a seller, that Hathaway is an under-the-radar addition for a team that brings so many different elements that's going to be a very important part of what the Boston Bruins are able to accomplish in the playoffs if they go on a deep run. And the fact that Boston could put Hathaway on their fourth line potentially is such a big win for this Boston team. So they got stronger on the back end, stronger up front, hit multiple positions as opposed to what we were just talking about with the difference between O'Reilly and Achari, and they get someone to take Craig Smith off of their hands. I just think when you look at the relative price paid in order for Boston to do it, although similar, that they net more for their team in return.